My name is Jason and this is Just Watches. Okay, today we have another watch from a French company. This is the Sumarine from Yema, forgive the pronunciation, which they let me borrow for a review. This watch was designed in partnership with Jason Washington, a professional diver. Now, before we get to the review, if you're enjoying the contents of this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And if you like the contents of this individual video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. For our price and availability, this watch is currently available in a number of colorways on the Yema website. The MSRP is 890 US dollars on a F. MK rubber strap or 990 on a beads of rice style bracelet. The case is 40.5 millimeters in diameter, a short 45 millimeters lug to lug, it's quite thin at just over 12 millimeters thick and has a 20 millimeter lug with opening. Now there is circular brushing on the top of the mid case with high polished sides. The lugs and crown guards share a crisp angular design. The crown guards are also brushed on top while the crown itself has a high polish finish. I like the limited use of high polish on this watch which in combination with the brushed finishing on the hands and indices gives the watch a more toolish feel overall. Now, Yema was kind enough to let me borrow two colorways of this watch to review. One came on the bracelet and one came on the strap. Let's start with the strap. The FKM rubber strap is fitted and starts at 20 millimeters before tapering down to 15. The rubber is incredibly soft and pliable. The pin and buckle is signed and has a brushed finish. Now there's one locked keeper and one free floating keeper. The orange color really complements the head of the watch and I think the colors they used on these rubber straps are really fun. Also, the rubber angles down sharply away from the head of the watch which helps with the overall wear and I think this watch is really comfortable on this strap. The bracelet starts at 20 millimeters and the solid end link has almost no play against the head of the watch. The articulation across the back of the watch and between the links is excellent, two factors that greatly increase the comfort of the bracelet. The beads of style links are all brushed on top and then high polished on the sides and these taper down to 16 millimeters at the clasp. The clasp is signed with the Yema logo and is friction fit with safety catch. The scissor is fully milled and signed and there's also a diver's extension. The clasp is nice overall, but the top piece feels a bit thin. There are four micro positions and between that and these small links, you should be able to get a good fit. Sizing is accomplished with standard split pins. Now I think this bracelet is fine, but I think between the two, I really like this fitted rubber strap. The screw in case back helps provide a whopping 300 meters of water resistance. It also features the Yema crest in high polish against a satin background. Now that crest is really striking against the background and I think this case back looks stellar. There's also information about the watch engraved around the edge of the case back. This watch is powered by the second generation in-house caliber Yema 2000. This is a hacking hand winding 20,800 vibration per hour automatic movement with a power reserve of 42 hours and a stated accuracy of plus to minus 10 seconds a day. The 5.5 millimeter screw down crown is signed and knurled. The threading and unthreading action is very smooth. Now it can be a bit tough to access the crown when it is screwed in due to these large crown guards. However, once the crown is deployed, the crown guards don't interfere with winding and operating the watch. I think if the crown was slightly larger, it would be a bit easier to thread and unthread the crown, yeah, despite these larger crown guards. The flat sapphire crystal is just a touch proud of bezel. There's quite a bit going on with the dial of this watch, so I like the use of the flat crystal here. I think a boxed or a dome crystal would be distracting. The 120 click unidirectional bezel is nicely knurled. The action is very ratchety and consistent and everything lines up at 12 nicely. The insert is aluminum and both the blue and orange colors are really lovely. While a ceramic bezel is nice because it's going to resist scratching, I just don't think you can quite match the beautiful shades of color you can get when you use aluminum. Now each five minute interval is marked with a line with the 10 minute intervals designated with Arabic numerals straddling the line, which is a bit odd, but you get used to it. And then this bezel is also loomed, which you'll see in the loom shot. Now I really love the dial on these watches. We start with a white chapter ring with dashes for each minute. Moving in, we have applied indices with larger indices at 12, 3, 6, and 9, which make orientation on this watch very clear. The indices have a brushed finish, which gives them a more toolish look that I think fits with the overall design of the watch. The dial has a very subtle sunburst effect, and where the longer indices terminate, there's actually a ring cut away with very small Arabic numerals designating the hours. We have the Yema logo, Yema, and name of the watch at 12, with automatic and 990 feet at 6. Now the dial overall is super legible despite having many small details and layers. 
The baton style hour and minute hands also use that brushed finish and are filled with loom. Now the hour hand perfectly terminates at the cutout ring in the center of the dial, which I absolutely love. The minute hand, however, does not reach to the chapter ring, which is a pet peeve of mine. This bothered me for a while until I noticed that the minute hand does actually perfectly reach the shorter hour indices, which slightly redeemed the length of the hand for me. The second hand is quite long, however, reaching all the way to that chapter ring. It is white with a short counterbalance and a red tip. Now overall, I still think I'd prefer a longer minute hand, but I do see that it was a, definitely a design choice on this one, and that's fine. For Loom, we have Super Luminova BGW9, so you get that nice blue color. Now this isn't quite the nuclear Seiko levels of Loom brightness, but you can see the bezel is also loomed in addition to the hands and indices, which is a really nice detail. And here's the watch on my six and three quarters inch wrist. It is an excellent fit on both the bracelet and the strap, thanks to that short lug to lug distance. I think this watch is going to wear great on a large variety of wrist sizes. As for pros and cons, let's start with the pros. I absolutely love the colors used on these watches. The bezels look fantastic with those aluminum inserts. And then I love the option of the matching FKM Viton rubber strap. Second is that strap. While the bracelet is fine, the strap is just extraordinarily comfortable. And again, I love the matching colors used. Finally, I love the layout of the style. It's symmetrical and super easy to read thanks to those oversized 3, 6, 9, and 12 indices. As for cons, I wish the crown was slightly bigger to make it a bit easier to thread and unthread due to those large crown guards. Second, the length of the minute hand seems coherent with the overall design of the dial, but short minute hands really annoy me. Last, on the bracelet, it would be great to see a quick adjust clasp as these are starting to become more standard. As for comps, for a bit more you could get a Christopher Ward Diver. These are a bit more flashy, but does introduce a quick adjust bracelet. I have a review of the C60 on my channel. For about the same price, you could get some of the modern Seiko Divers, such as the SPB317 on the strap. Now, I haven't reviewed this particular Seiko, but I have reviewed quite a few of the other Seikos and the more modern Seiko Divers on the channel. And then for less, you could always get a Citizen Echo Drive Pro Master Diver. This is a fantastic and reliable dive watch option. So there you have it. What do you think about this watch let me know in the comment section below as always if you're enjoying the contents of this channel i invite you to subscribe and if you like the contents of this individual video please give it a thumbs up that's all for this time my name is jason and you have been watching just watches